What if I can I make him work faster with a quick arrow in the butt? Faster, don't waste any time. How's it going everyone? My name is Graham and welcome to Ruben's Puppets. I've had my eye on this game for a little while now. It's the same developer who did Gold Rushers, which we played on the channel a while back. So I've been following the development ever since then and he was kind enough to hit me up to let me know that this first demo was available. Who are you? Not prepared for an existential question like that right at the beginning of my game. I will just be new character. I apparently am not going to name myself. Near a small village. There once lived a master puppet maker. Generations of young children got their very first puppet from his store. I never had a puppet. I missed out. I never received my first puppet as a as a child. I think I'm due one now. I want I'm going to put my foot down. I'm going to go demand I get my first puppet. But the whispers of riches inside spread throughout the quiet streets. Riches within the store. Guy must have been a really famous puppet maker. No one dared venture inside oh, I'm supposed to be using the controller. Puppet store. Why would no one dare? I mean, it doesn't seem like it would be that scary of a prospect, does it? What the shit am I flying in between? Oh, I'm laying down on the ground. <laughs> okay, what the hell? I thought I was falling, and then I was falling past something. No, it's just a bunch of trees. I think if the mouse and keyboard are an option, I'm going to stick with that. I'm, I'm more comfortable with this. So I'm not a puppet yet, right? I'm still just playing as a regular, everyday people. Closed, except for the fact that it's wide open. Possibly because it's been broken into. Can I steal? We got an archer building thing, a couple of regular standard money type puppets. The wooden puppet with hat. Make sure you get it with the hat. It's not worth it if you don't get it with the hat. Three schmeckles for a Rubens puppet. Workers, soldiers, the tin puppet without hat. Well, it's not even worth it then. And it costs more without a hat? That's a rip. Ooh, great as villains. These are the bad guys. Tin is bad, wood is good. Easy rhyme to remember. I, uh, I will go in search of some coal then, if I need to coal. Well, that is, that was very easy. Easier than I would have anticipated. Success! That is the easiest quest I've ever received in a game. Ooh, we're firing up the uh, the whole workshop here. Oh, but now the red lights. Red lights I tend to associate with bad, but I, I feel like that's a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing this one time. Ooh, secret door right here, calling it. Called it. it wasn't, that hard. <laughs> wasn't that hard to call. Head, arm, joints, torso, leg. Who knew human anatomy was so simple? I've been overthinking it all this time. All puppets should get along. Well, then you probably shouldn't specifically identify them, some of them, as villains. You're just setting them up to be worked against. Ulrich and Freya working together, giving themselves Sundays off. Good to know they're not working too hard. What do we got going on up here? Little, little bedroom note on, note on the desk. Garth's memoirs. Reuben has made a breakthrough. Maybe he's found a solution to my problem and I can return back to work. Today I will be turned into a stringed puppet. <laughs> is, is that what your problem is? Because that's a pretty hefty problem. If, if Reuben the puppet maker is going to help you with not getting turned into a puppet? Unlikely. Henceforth I shall act as the advisor for Reuben. The future is bright. Unless there's some reason he just loved puppets so much as a kid that he was just like, I want, I'm, I'm a bee. I'm gonna be a puppet. Whoa. Freya the Fierce, can she actually cast magic? Because I want that. And Ulrich the Great. But she's, she's wooden. He's tin. So that seems like he's like the evil one, right? Now, upstairs. Ooh. Is this a, is this, would this be Garth? Or whoever it was who wrote the thing downstairs? Did he get turned into a puppet like he wanted? Or maybe Reuben is like a giant puppet all along? He's a puppet who makes puppets? Wait. Who are you? Hmm. I'm leaving. Know. As long as the door didn't close behind me, good. Help. No horror the elements going on here. Apprentices have trapped themselves in the puppet world. Seems an awful lot like we're in the puppet world right now. 
to accept my quest to go over He's <laughs> very he articulates with his hands a lot. <laughs> More so than me, and I feel like I'm a crazy hand talker. Not a problem, I'll help you despite missing what the last thing you said was. I assume Sparkles will show me the way I need to go. Decide carefully. This puppet will be you in a short while. Duh. That takes more care and attention than I was expecting. I really should think this through. So obviously, if I'm going to be stuck as this thing for a while, I'm going to make sure I, I give him a name that, that he'll be proud to show. Oh, there's only the three hats. Well, I, I kind of like this one, this little fancy boy hat. Well, Ass Butt 69 is going to get the fancy Aristo hat. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Confirm. Great. The last step is to use the puppet transfer machine and enter the <laughs> miniature world. What do you got going on behind you? Bunch of magic coming out of your butt, it seems. Just smash him into this guy's face and he just gets ruined. Ah, he told me to be careful. Oh, this is really cool. You get to look out over the puppet world and everything. Yeah, in you go, into the puppet machine. <laughs> oh, see, now we're falling out of the sky, just like I thought that was how the game started. Turns out it was a real thing. I'm not totally crazy. But if we look up, we, we don't see any weird tree-type things. Just do something. Break your fall. Out of arrows. Nothing to be done. Try and hit the target. Oh, God. I feel like I had the tiniest bit of control over that at the very end there. Ho ho ho, you son of a bitch. You couldn't have just like laid me gently into the world or something. Tin head, Queen Freya? This doesn't seem very anti tin heady. It's just like, yeah, there's one of them. You can only carry 20 coins? I mean, they are massive coins though, so I, I don't know exactly where he would be putting them. Wait a second, am I going to find the queen instantly? I thought I was going to have to go rescue the queen or something. I'm not shooting my way through the door, am I? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I was waiting for something to come bursting through it to come find me. Everything's magic. Magic sparkles coming off of everything. Sprint? Ruben has been imprisoned by the ten puppets. Help me take back the lands and free him. Yeah, I can probably do that. Let's out easy. Break crates to get coins and drop them into our chest. Hmm. Well, you didn't word it very well in your little pop-up window there. There was a, some confusing shit going on, but yeah, I can do that. Breaking coins seems easy to me. Uh, that's kind of cheating. It's everything. Oh no, don't pick it back up. Feels like cheating since that's the stuff that I had already found. And then uh, break, break. I have to shoot it to break it. And uh, I, 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 get a, I get a little bit of a bonus. You get to keep one for myself. Well, you are correct, lady. That was too easy, probably. Did you just make me pay your workers? It's not my job. What? I can build puppets? Now I'm a puppet builder? Oh, these are like... Well, I, I, I kind of knew, figured that would be part of it when we were seeing things like the worker and all that in the workshop. I kind of figured that would be part of my job. Oh my god, some weird shit happens when you're trying to use the bow sometimes. Ah, I was trying to figure out new ways to get coins. I'll ace all these targets. Perfect. Oh wait, now I have enough. Now I can build a new puppet. So I think this game kind of has RTS elements. I'm building other characters, but then it has to take a minute for them to actually like train and be produced. And now he's a miner? I mean, he's a guy who mines things. He's probably the right age. I hope there's no child labor going on in this game. I didn't sign up for that. What if I... Can I make him work faster with a quick arrow in the butt? Faster! Don't waste any time! Oh, I need to build three workers. Oh, I need to go on a, a big money hunt. Take this, pretend tin warriors. <laughs> Meh. Ah, chest full. I had to fight my way through these guys to uncover that chest. So he's obviously, like, mining things and off doing stuff, but what is... What is actually happening there? Is he delivering? Wait, can I just take all this back now? Oh wait, she said that's what pays the workers. 
if that's not in there, then the workers don't get paid. So I think I think that money actually has to stay in there because he's gonna come back and I I'm, I want I want to follow the one guy that I built first actually. Wait, is he producing coins? So what am I paying him for if he's making his own coins? Give me that coin back. You didn't earn it. Let's see. He is just depositing coins. All right. Well, I'm taking some of those back, my queen. I think it's only fair. I'm doing more work than these guys are. And they keep missing. They keep chucking them behind the chest there. So they're not even doing anything useful. Excellent. Workers mine coins and automatically build more puppets. The ten puppets are our enemies. Once the aggression bar is full, they will attack. Shoot them with your ah. bow or build soldiers to defend our village. They automatically build more? Uh, more puppets? I didn't realize that these guys were going to start building more puppets. We, we're going to have like a, a continuous infinite loop of of puppets being built. Wait, are all these arrows stuck? Because that's where they hit enemies. The arrows don't actually go away. Can I reclaim them from right out of the sky there? I can. I think that is like a glitch though. <laughs> but I, I really, I didn't realize I was tipping that domino of starting like a never ending world of puppetry now. Where is Ruben? We just finished uh, around the, the store. There's a store? Maybe we go to the store. Oh, I don't have any uh, any more money. But that's cool that you can get new uh, armor arrows, things like that. Nothing I can really make use of at the moment. So instead, I will venture forth to the exclamation park th 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 point. Tin puppet aggression. Who's... Who's sliding this in front of me? Who who brought me this? The ten, ten puppets are getting ready to attack. Visit the wooden queen to My see what you can do to help. You. That was not a scary thing, but I guess that was supposed to be one of the uh, one of the bad guys. Let's keep opening up these packages and make sure I got some moolah as well as a good arrow supply. Where are these guys going to be coming from? Probably. Oh 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 oh. Okay, I better go visit the queen, like it said. Queen Freya is your ally. You can see your health in the upper left corner. Supplies are running low. Could you destroy some crates to see what's inside? Like around here? Just crates within our own walls? You don't want me to go venture outside and break up some stuff? Seems like this is a very easy task that anyone could be doing. But hey, if you want to make your uh, your lead defense tactician do it, ass butt, then I, I guess that's that's okay. Soldiers, make sure we're well defended. Thank you. <laughs> Look at them just kind of having their weird, panicked, shifty eyes as they're running around. Is there anywhere I can go to build more workers to make sure we're just nice, nice and covered? That's the third soldier building. Oh god, it's chaos out here. Everything is dead. Put him out of his misery. <laughs> Where did that go? Jesus, that went bouncing far. It went bouncing over those mountains. Uncle Rico would be proud. All right, now what, Queen? Build five soldiers. Ah, oh, I see. I have not done enough. Thanks. Thank you. Wait a Thank second. He just he just started building a soldier. Well, I guess I'll I'll keep that going then. But this guy ran over there and he deposited a coin in it. It's a, it's got that whole self-sustaining thing going on. Bad news. I thought she said, I thought I heard her say bad news. Ooh. Well, should, we should probably close that gate, right? We seem stupid to leave that open. Said the tin guys are coming. I assumed it was from this side where there's all the mayhem. But there's several different uh, walls that need protecting, so I better check out everywhere. Oh, everything's dead around here as well. Fuck it. I'm storming their castle. You guys suck. Bunch of losers, dorks. Stop attacking the puppets. No, I'm gonna do whatever I want. <laughs> oh, attack started. I think I uh, may maybe went a little too aggressive on that because this was definitely not about to start until I initiated it, it seems like. Oh, crap. They're coming to the, the actual castle front there. I gotta go actually make sure I'm guarding the correct part of everything. Oh, my soldiers are getting out, getting ready to do things. Ooh, there's a tower. Protection tower. Oh, shit. 
Oh shit, gotta get up top. It seems like these guys know what they're doing. Oh god, they got into the- they got inside the castle and I fell over the wall. Quick, kill their king! They'll all crumble if I kill their king. Just get a couple more headshots on that guy. For some reason everyone's just totally ignoring me. I'm totally out of arrows. <laughs> I'll just pick it up, shoot, oh. Alright, excuse me everyone. I need back inside. I've been a terrible, terrible, terrible hero. I've done very little to protect anything. It's chaos inside of here. The queen is all but screwed. Oh, the big tin king is going for the, the top tower there. It's okay, I got him under control. Don't worry guys, I'm, I'm a great shot. One of our one of our units got hit. No, not one unit. It's war. Units are gonna be lost. You just gotta deal with it. All right. Seriously though, I, I I hope we got enough soldiers being built. Now we take out their resource chain. If we take out their workers, they won't be able to do anything. Just start picking them off. But, but, you know, accurately. <laughs> that would make a difference, I think. We've stolen everything from them. They took everything from us, and we took it back. Dibs, all of your gold. There, oh, what, um... Oh, you just had to defeat everything. So there was one guy still just hanging out in the castle that I had missed while I went destroying their entire civilization. You've won! Grab all the coins you can and put them in the chest. I... I want... Oh shit, oh god, okay, I, I'm on a time limit. Shit, I'm stuck so far away from the castle. I have one minute to collect as much coinage as possible. Come on, we, we, can, we can end this strong. We can get so much coinage going on here. If only I had just a little bit more time. We don't need any of that. I'm taking it out. I'm taking it out of the, the soldier supply. Oh shit, do you know what I saw actually over here? Was this shiny crate thing. I just barely saw that earlier. Apparently that thing's loaded with coins. Breaking them in. Get a full 40 deposit in there. Ah, we're not gonna have time for anything else though, I don't think. Maximum deposit. Oh, and I guess that's all we have to play. Well, we managed to cash out a decent amount of supplies. It's too bad that I'm not actually going to get to go do the shop thing and, and get some new gear and stuff, but it's cool that it has those sort of RPG elements in there as well. It is just a demo. It seems like the game could benefit from a, a little bit of tightening up, maybe with some of the controls, the aiming, stuff like that, but that's stuff that can be pretty easily fine-tuned at this point. Overall, the game is just, like, kind of cute. And uh, nice, nice little art style, silly, simple story and everything. It seems like it could be a lot of fun just bombing around, firing off your arrows and things like that. So I see I see some potential here. It seems like a fun little story, so I'm, I'm into it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have a link down below if you want to check out the demo for yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.